the world's most expensive house is in London, and not surprisingly it belongs to the Queen of England. The Queen of England is the Queen of Real Estate. Buckingham Palace is technically a crown property and comprises 775 rooms, 188 staff rooms, including 52 royal and guest bedrooms, and 19 staterooms making this not just the world's most expensive residence but also the most roomy. But Antilia is private property. With all that said it's time to dive into the most expensive house in the world Antilia. Before that if you are new to our channel please subscribe. Antilia is owned by Indian business magnate Mukesh Ambani, the chairman, managing director and largest shareholder of Reliance Industries Limited, a Fortune Global 500 company and India's second most valuable company by market value. Ambani's net worth has been estimated at $30 billion. His company was founded by his father, Dhirubhai Ambani, in 1966. It is India's most valuable firm by market capitalization. Ambani lives with his wife and three children in Antilia. Antilia is located at Altamount Road. If the name doesn't sound familiar, well, it happens to be one of the most expensive streets in the world. According to property trends, per square foot of any real estate on Altamount Road ranges between a massive $1,045 to $1,110. This quashes certain media reports that had claimed that Mukesh Ambani built his paradise over the ruins of slums. The high-end mansion reportedly costs an estimated $1 to $2 billion. Here are a few reasons why Mukesh Ambani's home Antilia has reached an iconic status in India and the world. Its creation was a joint effort by Leighton Holdings, an Australian-based construction company, along with US-based architecture firms of Hirsch Bedner and Perkins and Will. Antilla was inspired by the mythical Atlantic island. The architectural design of Antilia has been fashioned along the lines of the lotus and the sun. The house is built over a 49,000 square foot plot and extends to a height of 550 feet. The building comes with 27 floors, replete with extra high ceilings. Every floor is the same height of an average two-storied building. Ceilings of several floors at Antilia are double-heighted, thus making its height approximately equal to the height of a standard building of 45 floors. In fact, Antilia can survive an earthquake of 8 on the Richter scale. The top six floors of the building have been set aside as the private full-floor residential area. The Mukesh Ambani home comes with a mega temple, a host of guest suites, a salon, an ice cream parlor and a private movie theater to accommodate 50 people. And the family has spent years remodeling it to meet their needs. Mukesh Ambani has a huge need for speed. It is no wonder then that Antilia has six dedicated floors for cars, including his 5 crore rupees Maybach. In fact, the garage has space to accommodate 168 cars. The Ambanis's most pricey car is the exclusive German customized armored BMW 760i, valued at 1.4 million United States dollars. The registration fee for it alone cost 251,000 United States dollars. The family also owns a Maybach 62, Mercedes-Benz S-Class, Bentley Flying Spur, a Rolls-Royce Phantom and more. The building in South Mumbai has a dedicated car service station on the seventh floor. Talking about a need for speed, Antilia also has nine high-speed elevators, each assigned to different floors. The grimy Mumbai summer takes some getting used to. But for the Mukesh Ambani and his family, there's a snow room to help them beat the heat. The walls of this dedicated room in the mansion spit out man-made snowflakes. There is also a spa, terraced gardens and a temple where the family prays regularly. It also has a ballroom, guest suites and theater that seats 50. It might be a skyscraper, but Antilia still has a garden. It lies in the space that holds the W shape beams that support the upper floors. The hanging gardens are not just for show though, the plants are energy-saving devices that absorb sunlight keeping the interior of the house cool. Cuz evidently, the Ambanis are all about conservation. Two design motifs, the sun and the lotus, are repeated throughout the mansion in rare materials like crystal, marble, and mother of pearl. There are several lounge rooms, bedrooms and bathrooms, each adorned with dangling chandeliers. Also on offer is the large ballroom, with 80% of its ceiling covered in crystal chandeliers that opens out to a large bar, green rooms, powder rooms and entourage room for security guards and assistants to relax. 
The house also boasts of a helipad with an air traffic control facility, multiple swimming pools, a small theater and health spa, yoga studio, an ice room with man-made snow, and a conference, unwind room on the topmost floor with a panoramic view of the Arabian Sea. Rounding off the opulence, the final four levels of the complex are solely devoted to hanging gardens. These gardens point to the complex's eco-friendly status, acting as an energy-saving device by absorbing sunlight and deflecting it from the living spaces insulating the area. The Ambanis are vegetarians and teetotalers, and only serve wine during cocktail hours. Meals are vegetarian and alcohol-free. In the one month since he moved in with wife Nita and their three children, the house has generated a power bill of $92,435 Mumbai's highest residential electricity bill. According to the bill for the month of September, Antilia consumed 6, 37,240 units of power. To put it in perspective, an average household equipped with all electronic amenities consumes 300 units per month. Ambani was, in fact, given a discount of $632 for prompt payment, so the $91,526 quoted earlier is minus this amount. Experts say it's as roughly equivalent to the monthly power bill of 7,000 homes. Antilia is also included with Z Security, for which they have to pay $19,612. Usually, Z Security is provided to an individual if they approach Home Ministry of India with terror threat on them. The Antilia 600 kinds of staff seem a bit too much, but if you consider the house it seems appropriate. They have their own chefs, gym, spa, and parking lots for their expensive cars, swimming pools, helipads and much more. But, we are not looking to discuss all these stuff. The salary of workers who works at Mukesh Ambani's house. You will be surprised to know how much a worker in the house earns. They earn much more than an engineer and MBA in the country. Workers in the house are similar to government servants, as they need to have special skills in order to work in the house. One of the most amazing facts about these workers is that they are treated like a family member rather than a servant. All the family members treat them with respect. Currently, the employee working in the Ambani house earns $2,615 per month, which would vary based on their job responsibility. Back in 2011, their minimum salary was $78. But, now the minimum salary is $2,615. For you which is the most liked thing in Antilia? Share your thoughts in comment section.